In this video, I'm going to walk you through website copywriting step by step so that you can understand it better and so that you can serve your clients better. So let's pretend that you just landed your website copywriting client. The first thing that you're gonna do is the research. Now, the purpose of research is to understand the brand and the product and who you are writing to. I actually did a video on research, like a full copywriting research guide, and I posted it exactly a week ago, so I recommend that you check it out first before you continue with this video. I'm not going to explain it here all over again because that will just be repeating myself, but go back to that video, watch it, and then come back here to learn the rest. So the second step of writing website copy, once you've got all the research down and you're super confident about what you're writing and who you're writing to and what you're writing about, is actually the customer journey mapping and the website mapping. So you wanna understand essentially, where is the customer coming from? As in, how do they land on the website that I am writing? Then you want to understand what information do they need and what is the logical way to lay this information out. Now, I just want to point out to you that sometimes you'll be working with brands who have a UX designer or, you know, they have a professional in place that has already mapped everything out. They've laid everything out for you and all you need to do is just write the copy. And then other times you'll be working with brands who haven't done that and you'll be the one responsible for all the thinking. Now, if you did your research, this part is not going to be like crazy difficult. Um, but if you didn't do your research, you're gonna get stuck here. But essentially thinking about what information someone needs as you're putting yourself in the shoes of that customer and you're using the research to inform your decisions and then you would just understand like okay if i came if i was the customer and i came on the website and i was looking for this this and this information how would it make sense to lay it out you know how should the copy flow what kind of pages do we need how would we lay out the menu now as I said, normally you would want a UX designer to like all do all of that. I think that's who that is who does that, like the user experience designer. But sometimes it's going to be you. I'm sorry. This is the world of freelancing and especially with small businesses. That's kind of how it works. So just think about it. Like, how would you want it to be laid out for you? Um, or you know for the customer and if you're stuck for ideas you can always go to the competitors to see how they have laid their websites out and then suggest to your client to follow a specific design unless you have a crazy idea for something that you believe would make more sense in this case scenario then follow that but if you don't then do what's logical and then the third thing you want to understand is where are they going next now you are responsible for directing the traffic and converting the traffic to the next step. So is the next step signing up for an email list? Is it booking a consultation call? Is it adding something to cart? Whatever it is, you have to make sure that the copy that you're writing is directing the traffic in the right direction. I don't recommend having like a million CTAs all over the website. It's better if you focus on one thing or like two things. But if you have two things, then the second thing should be like signing up for an email list just so that you don't lose the lead. And then you should have the main CTA, which should be like conversion based of some kind. Um, if you have a lot of CTAs, well, guess what? Your conversion rate is automatically going to go down because you're giving the customer a lot of options. And we already know, and this is science based um this is a science-based statement that the more options we have, the less likely we are to choose. You want to limit your options to like two, maximum three. That's all, but they should be like, you should have like one main thing that you want people to do, like one main place where everyone is going to go. So then step three is good, solid, wholesome planning. The first, the first part of that is, yeah, just figuring out like, okay, what kind of information do we need and how is the information going to be laid out? Because writing copy for an entire website is not as simple as just, you know, writing a single email. There are actually multiple pages and there's a lot of information that normally goes on a website. So you just want to make sure that you have it all planned out so that you don't get lost in the process. Now, if you're completely lost here and you don't know what kind of pages you should have, 
there are like basic website templates that literally will do for any website and then you can go off of them like you can use them as your standard and then just kind of develop or you can even use them for every webs website that you write as long as you don't feel that there's information missing now i do have a website copywriting guide that you can purchase i'm going to link it down below which includes like examples it's like 30 pages long so it has examples annotations and like each section of a website explained so that you have something handy to go off of um so you can check this out if not then just you know go and study different websites and figure out like how websites are put together and then what you would do is you know you would have the different pages that you want to include what information will go under which page and then you want to start diving into your ideas like the ideas that you have for every page and just kind of take notes on that just very rough to understand kind of like okay which direction do i want to take this website you can also buy the copywriting the website copywriting guide that i mentioned to you and i have some other resources that you can also purchase i'll link them i'll link them all in the description below and of course support the youtube channel comment on the video like subscribe and all that good stuff i really do appreciate it and i appreciate you being here a part of the community if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and that was a mouthful have a good day